thank the organizer for inviting me to launch this RBVLSI job portal. Uh, if you see the scenario that is there, especially in Andhra Pradesh, we have right now more than 650 engineering colleges and at present we are producing 1.5 lakh graduates. But when it comes to the employment uh, scene, you find only 10% of these students are getting really employed. It's a very sorry state of affairs. We have NASCOM, we have CII, which come on telling us that the quality of your students is very poor. So we have, we as a university are taking several steps. We find that the main concern is lack of faculty, lack of qualified faculty. People are having good buildings, infrastructure, labs, but the lack of uh, qualified faculty is something which is also not only bothering Andhra Pradesh, it is bothering every nook and corner of the country. So people have come up with different solutions like starting uh, web-based courses, uh, starting web-based lectures like NPTEL and other things. So there are ways and means to improve the quality of teaching, but still we find that uh, the employability skills of the students have not yet been enhanced. So this is where we realize that the gap between the theory and practice has to be bridged. And that is where these finishing schools are supposed to play a very, very important role. And especially in areas like VLS and embedded system, which has seen a rapid growth in the last uh, five years. And uh, the, there are a lot of opportunities for students, provided they are well qualified, they have the aptitude, they have the attitude, they have the skill and the will. So I feel personally that uh, these sort of job portals definitely are going to go a long way in enhancing the students' employability skills. And I am sure that uh, our students from Andhra Pradesh would like to take advantage of this, uh, this particular facility. Regarding, uh, you said uh, it's free, I think that is uh, one good thing. Normally people uh, tend to charge and that discourages uh, many people from even applying. So that is one important thing that one should uh, try to uh, look upon. And you can also tie up with various uh, institutes. We have a lot of institutes. Uh, in fact, we have institutes which are rated very low to institutes which are rated very high. But as far as employment uh, opportunities are concerned, many of the students are still uh, unemployed. Uh, today, any unemployed youth you ask him, he will say, I am an engineer. That was not the scenario <laughs> 20 years back where we had only people from other uh, disciplines as unemployed. It is not uh, that the engineers are not fit. They have the will, I mean, they have the skill, aptitude and the attitude, but they don't have the skill. So that is what is now the immediate necessity. And we also, as an institute, are trying to find ways and means. And you from industry also, if you can join hands, definitely we can bring this country forward and also this state forward. Thank you. Thank you for giving.